Hello everyone, welcome to another video tutorial. Today I will show you uh, a, how to fix a Skepture TV that won't connect to Wi-Fi. Now, as you can see, there are a couple of things you can do. From your home screen, you navigate to settings icon located at the top right corner of your TV screen. Under the settings, select network and internet. Make sure the Wi-Fi option is activated using the slider button, as you can see. And then under the Wi-Fi network, scroll down and scroll, uh, choose your network. Now you will be prompted to enter a password, just enter the password. And uh, if this is not working for you, try to do this on your hotspot. Now, if you have hotspot, try to do it on your hotspot. If your connection or your TV connects to your hotspot and it won't connect to your Wi-Fi, that means your Wi-Fi is the main problem. Now, uh, obviously, how can you connect Skepter TV to Wi-Fi without a remote? Now, it would help if you had a remote, as you can see. But if a remote is lost, you can use your smartphone as a remote. Now let's take a look at some of the problems that may occur with um, fixing or connecting Skepter TV to a Wi-Fi. Now usually uh, the problem is with weak wireless signal, wrong password details, software glitches on the TV or router, corrupted settings after firmware update or faulty network settings or firewall settings. Now. What can you do with this? So if it's a weak wireless signal, make sure to reset the router or connect to a hotspot. This way you will see if it's a weak wireless signal. Now wrong password details, again, check out with, uh, you know, double check your password. That's the only thing you can do. Software glitches or TV, or on the TV or router, reset the router, reset the TV or power cycle the TV. Um, then corrupted settings after firmware update. Uh, make sure to reset everything to factory reset or again power cycle the uh, TV and then faulty network settings again this is in the network so uh, you won't be able to do much and firewall settings this is also in the network if you have everything set up correctly in the network you should be able to connect it to a TV now if all of these are not working for you and if you already check all of these then what I would do is I would definitely go and uh, yeah, try to use an authorized de uh, dealer in terms of like an authorized repair shop, not the dealer, but authorized repair shop that will help you with fixing this issue internally. So sometimes this is an internal issue. So you will need to go on uh, within your repair shop uh, or in your repair shop to fix this issue. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you find it useful. Comment down below if you're able to fix this issue and how. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video.